All this is another furniture done for very many years. Well, this image, I've inserted it because, well, first of all, I've inserted this for uh, Giovanna because uh, she is a geologist and therefore she, of course, said thank you. So she said, okay, let's just put this, some extra points, and maybe Giovanna can do another exhibition with me. Besides all these jokes, I like this image, which shows how small that machine is, or that truck there is. Imagine, it's gigantic. If we stand close to this, is gigantic but with this image is so small and it means that you're digging 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 to doing some objects in marble that very frequently they consume a lot of material and therefore in 2007 I have created a several collection of furniture totally done in marble but empty inside and they're, they're boxed, so this is how it's called. It generates some very light objects. And it's not that, of course, it's super light that you can just throw it and it's like a feather, but it's super light compared to the typology. And the first table was done in marble. Then for the exhibition done in Studio Castiglioni, always with the same company, the material was coming from the same company. Well, they've done some different kinds of uh, like sort of benches, stools. And uh, going to their company, I've seen that there were these marble, marble slates that cut very, very thinly. Well, they could be flexible. And why is this so? Because marble, if it's cut so, so thin, it's flexible. Well, of course, it has to, uh, uh, of course, follow some uh, radius of curves, and you have to think of the objects real, real well, but marble becomes flexible. And therefore, he did a marble bench, which is bendable and one folded. So, this structure is in wood, and the lower part is basically the end of the curb of the marble. When no one sits, the marble is straight. When the person sits, the marble goes through a curb. The person can wait 50 kilograms or 200. It doesn't really matter because the structure of the wood ends the curb. Of course, under the marble, there is a very, very thin film of glass fiber that makes this marble flexible. It compacts it when it flexes and curves and avoid it to uh, break. And that uh, was presented always at the same exhibition. That's a very beautiful project. And Establish and Sun has nothing so strong. I know you don't really appreciate what I have said, but uh, you know, sometimes, uh, of course, that was just uh, uh, done, but very many times we look at things done by all these names. Ah, did who does the table for. Well, this object, I mean, I don't know if you do agree, but it has an incredible strength. Nothing like that has been seen. Well, she loves it, of course, but the interesting thing is besides the shape is uh, the emotion that you have when you sit on this. I mean, once you sit on it, well, I remember the first time in reality, the first time I standed on this because I went to the company, we had put uh, uh, some bricks on one side and on the other on the floor. We have positioned that and I stepped on it. 
And I was a bit afraid, not to hurt myself, but to break the material when I said, hey, it's impossible. And I have that sensation. And every time I sit, well, actually, the first time I sat on this, uh, I remember in Castiglione, well, very many people had this sensation of, can I sit on this? Rather, uh, we did also some uh, bended marble um, benches. A shape of this kind that could be done only with full marble, therefore a full excessive weight marble, and therefore with the use of resources that was incredible. This is why I have used several objects of marble, just to make you understand how much we're digging rather actually here it's just a box the marble it's just the external faces well i was telling you that this shape could actually be done just with a full piece of marble rather this and this other one are done in the folded marble and therefore it could not be done in any other manner rather in this way bending the marble we managed to do this box the shape and you see that he's holding it up and it's definitely not so heavy. Uh, this is an image when they were pulling this down from the truck. And you can see that the guy, he's carrying it. I mean, he's not, this is a bench that weighs 70 kilos probably, but 70 kilos is a lot, but it's two meters and a half. And if it was made of paper, it would weigh pretty much the same. And think about it, of course, there is a piece of marble, it's four millimeters, five millimeters of marble, that of course weights. But if this bench was done with the traditional technologies, well, of course, five people could not raise this. I mean, you probably need a machinery. These are just some experiments. I always referred to materials done very many years ago in 1997 and they were some uh, like a collection of lamps done in Palestrine. Yes. The objects of Campeggi. Well, I just put a few. They're objects that originate uh, by what happens. This is in my house. I suffer when it's hot. And I like the fan, but living in an apartment, every time, I mean, at a certain point of the year, the fan is taken and then put in, in the, uh, right, in March, you don't really want to go uh, in the basement and go get the fan that you have put there in the winter, right? And so you need a fan that can be used and kept in the house without being annoying and therefore changing the plane and the reference, it can become something different. Well, vertically is a fan. Horizontally, it becomes like a little table. And of course, you can just put anything on it. Some people say, yeah, but if you uh, turn on the fan, it's better not to do it. But if you have, uh, of course, something full would not fall. Of course, it's a table you might like or not, but it, functionally, it does work. And uh, it depends according to what you want to do. I have, I like to see inside. In motorbikes, I want to see the engine. In objects, I like to see the structure, and therefore I'm playing with this because I really like it because it's very structural. <laughs> You just, uh, every time that you, you do something, you just show the interior of things, right? Well, you say that uh, objects originate by looking at yourself around. Well, usually the, the uh, people in Triennale were hiding somewhere just to sit down and everything. And so I said, well, why don't we do like a chair? that just puts everything together with the logo of the Triennale and this chair. Triennale said immediately. And then he started doing several things, like this object. If you go to Triennale, there are the firemen who are there walking and never know where to sit. And I said, well, let's do a stool for them. 
past action, it's called the post azione, which was uh, just treated with the same uh, uh, logic of uh, the, the, the various things used, or maybe a lamp to hold the extinguisher. These are objects that work for several uh, reasons. I mean, they have. Rather, speaking about Campeggi, well, this was present in Giovanna's Castiglioni studio, and uh, this is uh, um, a small little uh, armchair, and when you need it, it becomes a ladder. Then it could be a chair, it could be a stool, informal chair, and of course, it should have, uh, to be understood, it should have, uh, I don't know, a bookshelf and something. And the relation is the fact of taking something or else it's a project is for itself. But when you have to take an object, you understand the use of this. This was a mirror and a table. Uh, it's a mirror of 160, 180, very big, that you can detach from the wall, and it becomes a table. What was interesting that when I presented this, I did not think of the possibility of having this become uh, a mirror for the floor, and the idea was given from a person at the Salone Satellite. When he put it on the floor, Ah, he said, hi, I like it with this shape. And he never thought of that. But very frequently, you have to be capable of uh, understanding several ideas because a project, sometimes you, you work on it so much that some things you just miss out on. So it's very nice to just share these projects. <laughs> And now you became like the, the master of the transform. Maybe it's the wrong word, but uh, of this kind of design that Campeggi is definitely the ideal company, right? It's their mission, the find of looking for these multitasking objects. 